Tai Chi Across America dot com.
bring our hands up and bring them out to the side. Right one, fingers are going bring our back. Hands up. Look over the right shoulder. Right. Bring them out to the side. Fingers pointing back. Come in. Look over the right shoulder. Do the same thing to the left shoulder. Come in. Do the same thing in. to the left shoulder. the other direction going the other direction up to the chest, push out, and we'll bring our hands Lengthen up to your the hands, chest, fingers, push hold out, them up, and bring them back in, elbow Lengthen first. Lengthen your hands, your fingers, hold them up, and bring them back in, punch out, elbow first. Reach, grab, punch out, pull back. Reach, grab, pull back. punch.
this segment of the Tai Chi pattern, we only have one more move to complete the first 12 moves of Tai Chi Quan 24. So we're gonna start with that one. As before, my wife is sitting in the chair, so if you're seated, you do what she does, and if you're standing, you do what I do. The move is actually done in that direction for the people that are standing, but we're gonna start with it going forward. So going forward, you have, you're up on your toe with one foot in front, one hand is out, like you're scratching the chin of a horse. The name of the move is patting the high horse. So bring your hand back like you're petting a horse from underneath its chin. Bring it up and out. One more time, up and out. And then put that hand down. The other hand starts up high like this. You turn your body and you pet the horse between the ears and down its muzzle. Let's do that again. The hand goes up high. You turn, pet the horse on its muzzle, the top of its nose. And now we're gonna do both hands. One hand is out. Other hand is up. It's like you're holding a big ball. We call this big ball. You turn, pull, and pet. One more time. Up, turn, pull, and pet. All right, so now I'm gonna go in the direction we're supposed to go, and we're gonna start with the move that comes right before this move. And the move is called the whip. So this is how we, we ended last week. Um, so this hand is like, it's holding a worm up like that, like you're a bird, it's a chicken's beak. And you, I'm looking that way. And the other hand, if you're standing up, you're leaning and you're pushing in like that. Then you go back onto your toe, lift your hands up, turn your body, pull, and pet down. Let's do that one more time. So we're at the whip. Go up, pet and pull, down. That's the 12th move, or halfway through Tai Chi Quan 24. So both this week and next week, we're just going to do the first 12 moves of the form. It doesn't actually feel like 12 moves because they count entire sections as one move, and then later on they count one motion as one move, but this is the way it works. We have 12 moves of the 24, of Tai Chi Quan 24, and that's what we're gonna do now. So we're gonna start over here. First couple of times I'm gonna talk us through it, then we'll go through it, and then we'll breathe through it. So first move is called commencing. Your shoulders come up and back, up on your toe, you might recall that's called the T-stance. Step out to the side, equalize your weight, wave up, wave down, that's commencing. Now if you're standing, you lean in this direction, drag your foot back to T-stance, everybody brings their hands over to the side. Again, we're holding a ball, we call this little ball. You step out onto your heel, Lean, lift the ball, turn. The front hand goes up like the Statue of Liberty, and the back hand pets. The name of this is called parting the wild horse's mane. Let me explain that because it's been a couple of weeks. Your hand is like a comb. It goes into the wild horse's mane and you comb it, and that's the way it got its name. So put your hand back up. Oh, I'm sorry. This hand is up here. This hand comes. Oh, I did that wrong. Yeah, and you pet the horse. Now, if you're standing, lean back, turn your front foot, go to T-stand space in the other direction, pick up the ball, toe, heel, lift, turn, Statue of Liberty, pet the horse, lean back, T-stance, heel, turn, lift, pet the horse. And that's the end of uh, parting the wild horse's mane. The next move, you come together, go to T-stance, step out, both hands push the ball out. The name of this move is uh, White Crane Spreads Her Wings. So your hands are wings. One hand goes up high, other hand goes down low. If you're standing, you drop your weight. You wave across, push your hand down, the other hand goes up, you wave across, if you're standing, you lean forward, turn your back foot, lean back, and bring your hands up. 
I'm in T-stance, so my heel is off the ground on this foot, it's off the ground. Now we're going to do, excuse me, knee brush. We do it three times, okay? So we step out onto our heel, brush your knee, lean, turn your upper body, push, lean back, turn your foot, go the other way, step to your heel, brush across your knee, turn your back foot, push, high five, lean back, T stance up, step, knee brush, turn, push, if you're standing feet together, then step back out, one hand comes across, the other hand comes across, fingers up, this is called the loop, drop your weight, pull it in. From here, um, we go to repulsing the monkey. Your hands go up. So right now, the foot in front's on its toe. Um, after this, it's gonna be on its heel. You step back, your hand comes out like an airplane landing, come up on your heel, drop your weight, hold the big ball, step back, hand comes down like it's landing, up on your heel, big ball, step back, you look to the back when you do this, come up on your heel, drop your weight, one more time, step back, down, look to the back, heel, put your foot flat, bring your feet together, grab the small ball, uh, the name of this one is pulling the peacocks or pulling the sparrow's tail. Come up on your toes, step, lift the ball, turn, similar to the first move. Then you pull or pet the peacock's tail. You're leaning forward if you're standing up. Come underneath, grab the peacock, turn your hips, throw the peacock. Raise your elbow, turn, push. Hands go out kind of like you're holding a bicycle. Lean back, pull it straight back to your chest. Push down, and like an hourglass. You circle out, pull your hands in, lean forward, and push. When the hand closest to me draws a circle, your feet come together, and T-stance again. Now this was in T-stance. Grab the ball, step to your heel, lift, turn, pull, Come underneath like you're grabbing the bird. Turn, throw it, put your hand on your wrist, raise your elbow, turn, lean forward, push. Hands go out like you're riding a bike. Lean back, up on your heel, pull back, push down, draw an hourglass, lean forward, and push. Okay, we're getting near the end of the first half now. The hand that's here goes on your shoulder, you reach across, this is called the whip, close your fingers in a chicken's beak, like it's holding a worm. Take the hands on your shoulder, look at it, turn your whole upper body, straighten your arm, turn your hand over, lean and push. Now we move to wave hands like clouds. Feet together, scoop, step, push, feet together. Scoop, step, push, feet together. Scoop, step, push, feet together. Scoop, step, push. One more time, feet together. Scoop, step, push. Put this hand on your shoulder. Do the whip one more time, reach across. Chicken's beak up, pull your hand out, look at it, turn to the side, lean into it, and push. Then you turn your hands up, you come up on your toe, your front foot's up on your toe. And then we do the move we just learned, turn and pat the high horse, and then turn your feet facing us, cross your hands, this is closing, hands come out in front, just let your fingers dangle, and down. Then you lean, come up on your toe, step in, put your foot down, raise your shoulders, bend them back.
All right, so we're gonna do the forearm. This time I'm not gonna talk through it and I'm not gonna breathe like very loud like we normally do at the end. I'll do that in a minute. We're just gonna do all 12 moves in a row and we do them very slow. Um, that's what builds up the, both the, the circulation and your ability to control your muscles. So we're gonna go slow, breathe as deeply as you'd like. Um, and then we'll go back and, and show you how to breathe. So I'm gonna start over here. Tai Chi Quan 24, first half. Commencing. Parting the wild horse's mane. White crane spreads her wings. Knee brush. The loot. Repulsing the monkey. Pulling a peacock or sparrow's tail. Water wheel. Pulling the peacock's tail on the other side. The whip. Wave hands like clouds. Last one. The whip. Patting the high horse. Closing. All right, so we're gonna do it one more time, the entire first half of it, and I'm gonna breathe all the way through it. Um, be of good heart. We're doing exactly the same sequence next week um, before we launch into the second half. So I'm gonna go back over here. Again, if you're seated, you do what Ann does, no matter what I say. And if you're standing, you do what I do, unless I do it wrong. So let's begin. Listen to me breathing. You do not have to breathe as deeply as I do. I'm doing it so you can hear me, and that's the only reason I'm breathing that deeply. All right, begin.
Thank you for watching and learning Tai Chi Quan 24 with www.taichiacrossamerica.com. Have a great day. All right, so uh, we're now gonna do tree hugging. It starts by bringing your hands up. Come in like you're hugging a tree. Slowly bring them out and then back down. There are four exercises. We do them each four times. Up and hug a tree. Arch your back when you do that. Then bring your shoulders all the way back. Hands down. This is mostly a shoulder exercise. Up. Arch your shoulders in. Then bring your shoulders back. Down. One more. Up. Arch your shoulders in. Back. Down. Now we're gonna do the same thing over our head. Put your hands like you're holding a cat. Prop the cat. Hands up over your head, shoulders back. Touch your fingers. You might have some snap, crackle, pop here. That's okay. Back down. Pick up the cat. Cat bites you, drop the cat. Hands come up over your head. Touch your fingers again. Two more to go. Down. So now you're like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ah, I'll be back. Up. Over your head. That's number three. Down. It's the last one. Up. Touch your fingers. And then down in front like you're hugging a tree. Hands flat. This is called on a table. One hand goes up. One hand goes down. Squeeze tight. If you're standing up. Push your butt back so you don't fall down. If you're sitting down, go as far as you can. Come back up. Roll your shoulders, hands flat. Switch your hands. Look up. Over. Arch your back. Up. Hands flat. Switch your hands. Hug tight. Look up. Arch your back. up hands flat last one switch your hands look up back. back up that's exercise number three exercise number four is like rowing palms up shoulders up elbows back as far as they can go if you're in a chair touch the chair if you're standing up just keep going back make a diamond it looks like that in the front push the diamond out Touch your thumbs together, reach out. We call this the zombie. Hands flat. Palms up, shoulders up. Elbows back. Make a diamond. Push it out. Thumbs together, reach. Reach. Flat. Only two more. Palms up. Shoulders up. Elbows back. Make a diamond. Reach. Thumbs together, reach. Hands flat on the table, last one, palms up, shoulders up, elbows back, make a diamond push, reach out, hands to the side, and down. Thank you for playing with us today. This is McCoy's Action Karate at www.taichiacrossamerica.com. Have a great day.